ahead and, and hit a uh, keyframe right there. And then on the black, we're going to go ahead and make it white. Yeah, 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 buddy. And then we're going to, when it turns white, we're going to make it black again. So right there, we will hit I. Then right here, we'll make it that same color by uh, grabbing this guy right here, duplicating it, and putting it back where it goes. So now they completely invert. Perfect. All right, that looks so good. I love it. I love it. One of the coolest, one of the coolest ones we've done so far. Now we can always rotate some of the other letters and stuff, um, which I might do. I think right here, maybe. I want to rotate the in somewhere, and I don't know how to do it. Um, let's see. Is there a blank space that I can put that at, or should I just? Um, I think right here, when it zooms in, I think that in should spin around right now. So we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab that in, and we're gonna move it. Uh, right. We're gonna actually grab that keyframe and put it backwards a little bit, so it's not in the way. So right about here. I want it to start rotating, so we'll hit I, rotation, and then go a little bit forward, and we will double hit uh, R, and we'll we'll tap, double tap, what, Y, yeah, we'll double tap Y, and we'll move it like this, and then we will kind of kind of grab that keyframe that we just made and paste it over here. And kind of just tamper with it to get it where I want it to kind of smooth away. So like that. And then maybe rotate it a little bit upwards. Right here when it hits that kick again. I'm going to go ahead and put it back. So we will put that right there. And then on this keyframe we will rotate it backwards like that. Oh yeah, I love it. Alright, sweet. So now we have something like this at the end there with the in, which looks super good. And any time now. Yes. All right. So it looks very dynamic. Looks very nice. Now I think when the letters come in, I want them to come down at different times because right now it looks like it's too stiff when they first come in, and that is clipping with the apostrophe, and I never noticed that before. That's not okay. Is anything else clipping right now? No. I think we're good. The apostrophe is fine. Now I save the apostrophe. All right. We're gonna actually see now. I can't even do that. I got to move them all up first. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, now, let's go ahead and turn my overlays back on so I can see what I'm doing. When these letters come up, I think they just get bigger, right? They don't actually, yeah, they don't actually move at all. So, uh, when the uh, letters come up, I want them to come up separately. So, what we'll do is on uh, S, we'll move it up on the first keyframe right here. Like so move it up there then the T will move it up further or is that gonna even no it's not even you're not even be able to tell okay no because we need to we need to because uh, hmm, we need to make it look like they're moving but they're not moving the camera is so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take these these letters and while they're moving like this I kind of want to have them go down like that. And you can barely even see it's very subtle, but we will move them all downwards like that. And we'll move them some more than others. And then they'll pop back up like that. So right here, do that with the Y and with, nope, and with the L, but not on the same frames though, because that they don't want them all to go down together. Um, and then the N, and then the apostrophe way later on. All right, so now the lens still looks like it's too close together. So we'll move these keyframes out some more, like that. And maybe the N is super far behind, and the apostrophe is even more behind than that. All right, so all right, much more dynamic now when they come down, which looks nice. All right, looks good. Looks good. I like it. Now, one more time through, see what else we can do. If there's nothing else, if I think it's uh, just going to be too much, we won't do anything. We'll fix up the particles a little bit and we'll be done. I think it looks good. I love that. Very, very smooth and very, um, 
very, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, I mean, dynamic. It's, it looks like it's, it looks like it's moving. It looks like it's fluid. Fluid, that's the word I'm looking for. It's very fluid and very nice. I like it. It looks pretty good. Um... There is a lot more we could do. We could add in other elements like little streams that are coming through and stuff like that. But I don't think we're going to do that because I just don't want to overcomplicate things. I want it to be mainly about the text itself. And if we do that, it's just not going to be. So we'll actually go ahead and move these letters up when they get about right here. Because I want them to kind of come up and then back down. Uh, which looks pretty cool. So we'll move these... Like that. Um, we will undo that. Let's do the S like that. Yeah, okay, so that's good. And for the Y, I kind of want the Y to be more rotatey. So we'll just like uh, add in a rotation keyframe right there. And then we'll just, on, on over here maybe, we'll just rotate it a little bit. Make it look all kind of crazy like it's going like, like it's in outer space. Like it's like it doesn't know what it's doing with its life. Like it has no idea where, how it should be rotated and it's just doing whatever the heck it feels like doing. Uh, and then maybe we'll rotate it back the way it's supposed to be right now. And it'll be back when we do this little zoom in thing. It'll snap back into, it'll, it'll snap back into shape. You know, it's, it's all out of shape. Get your life back together, why? Why you do this to yourself? Maybe we'll get rid of that keyframe too. The less keyframes you put in, the, the less it's going to look uh, touched. Because the more and more you do it, it's like if I add a keyframe right here, and then whoa, one right here, and then one right here, and then one right here. You can see how when we play this, it looks like it was like I completely made it go that way. So I want it to be more floaty. Um, so there we go. Now it looks pretty good. I think the apostrophe needs to kind of fly upwards right here a little bit so we'll just hit G to move it up a little bit and then right there it'll kind of break away from the pack and then when it snaps back kind of move it up and then when it gets back uh, up close we'll snap it backwards and then it'll go inwards a little bit a little bit and then come back out eventually like that so it kind of looks like it's its own apostrophe right I want it to be more snappy than that. So maybe we will move this one up. And move this one closer. Maybe something like this. And maybe when it flips like that, it looks like it's rotating, but it's not. The camera's just flipping. So maybe the apostrophe can feel the effect of that by uh, getting dragged down a little bit. So we'll add in a keyframe right there. And right here we'll move it uh, right there. And then over here we'll move it over there. And then here we'll move it back to where it's supposed to go approximately. And then we'll move it up, out, and then back where it's supposed to go. All right, so let, maybe. Oh, yeah, I love that. It looks like it's kind of just lagging behind. Like it actually has some kind of physics or gravity to it. But I think it goes inwards weirdly right here. So we could pull that out some more. Oh, yeah. I think that looks good. Kind of just like goes in and comes back out for a second. Yeah. Okay. That looks super good. So it's the small things like this that kind of tie it together. Yeah. 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 Definitely. 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 I think. Okay. I think that's it. I think we should, shouldn't do anything else to it. I think it's going to be a little bit too much if we do. Maybe if I, just real quick, if I pull this L down when it zooms out like this, we'll just have a little bit of a cool thing. So I'll insert, a, uh, I'll move it right there, and move up a couple of frames, and then we'll move it down like this. And move it down some more, maybe. Rotate it a little bit. 